What is up, guys? I'm Daddy Gamer Fred, and welcome back to another Fortnite Season 7 video. Now, in today's video, we're going to be going over exactly how the battle pass for this season actually works. Now, I've seen a lot of people confused about how this battle pass is actually unlocked and how to get all the cosmetic items within the battle pass. This video right here, we're going to break everything down from you from not having the battle pass to having the battle pass. What are you can get if you don't have the battle pass for free items, how to unlock items within the battle pass, all that stuff we're going to be going over in this video. So if you find this video helpful at any point, please hit the like button. It does help me out a ton as far as moving the video and to recommend it so other people can check out the video as well as hit the subscribe button. I'm going to be doing videos like this on Fortnite chapter two, season seven, all through the season. Pretty much every day I'm going to be trying to drop a brand new Fortnite video for you guys so again hit that subscribe button to be in the loop now jumping in as you can see i don't have the battle pass if you look on top where it says battle pass season three it's silver it turns gold when you do unlock the battle pass on the bottom it says get the battle pass if i click it says get the battle pass join fortnite crew i don't have either i don't have the fortnite crew i don't have the battle pass i wanted to start this video without the battle pass just to show you guys the people that do play without actually getting the battle pass what you can get with the free quote unquote free version of the battle pass now in order to unlock things within a battle pass you do need to level up like normal level one two three as you can see i am on level three each level doesn't unlock anything per se as far as item wise what you do unlock is battle stars battle stars are basically currency for the battle pass each item within the battle pass has a battle star requirement to cash in to unlock said item take these v bucks for example you want these v bucks you got to cash in five of your battle stars in order to get it now however as you can see these items are locked these items are locked because these are from the battle pass but if you move over to the left you see this spray, this black bling, which is pretty cool. And I'm going to actually grab this one. And this banner icon are actually free items that you don't need the battle pass to actually claim. Now, they have this all throughout the battle pass in each page. is about three items on each page. Yep. Page one has the back bling, the banner, and the spray. Page two has the V-Bucks, the wrap, and the alien emoji page three has another banner a loading screen and a glider page four music emoji emo and so far and so far Ooh, even pickaxes this is pretty good for free for free we're actually not owning the battle pass you still are entitled to some of this stuff which is pretty cool now do note do note disclaimer just because you have enough stars doesn't mean you can just jump around in the battle pass and get what you want to get you do need to have the requirements for each page as you can see first page is already unlocked second page however it says claim five rewards or reach level 10 to unlock the page now because I don't have the battle pass for right now. In order for me to unlock page two, I would need to reach level 10. This is important. If for people who don't buy the battle pass, if you want to unlock stuff in future pages outside of page one, you're going to need to level up to the requirement that it asks you to because you're not going to be able to unlock the page by unlocking the rewards. See, it says claim five rewards or reach level 10, whichever comes first. If you have the battle pass, you have access to all these other rewards. Whereas people who don't buy the battle pass, you're gonna just have to rely on your battle pass level. So you need to be level 10, 20, 30, and so on and so forth. 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Now let's get this out of the way. Obviously, Superman is also coming to the Battle Pass. He is going to be the secret, quote-unquote, secret skin. They're letting us know he's a secret skin because why not? It's Superman. But again, he's going to be locked to the Battle Pass, so you do need to buy the Battle Pass in order to unlock the Superman's cosmetics. As you can see, we can't get Superman in the bottom right corner underneath where it says his name, Outfit DC, Clark Kent, coming in. 65 days so he's coming in halfway through the season just like any other 
secret skin. If you played last season, the soccer skin, I forget the guy's name, the Namar, that was our secret skin for last season. And that came again midway through the season. We unlocked those challenges. I believe we're going to get the same thing for Clark Kent. Who knows what's going to be the challenges or is it going to be stars related? I wouldn't be surprised if it was stars related that you need a certain amount of stars to unlock it. Or they give us missions like the Namar Jr., missions where we had to do certain stuff within the game in order to unlock these or these cosmetics and look at this superman oh my god i i have to just stop and show you guys shadow superman is amazing now the bonus rewards let's also go over it it says you need to claim 100 rewards to unlock this page and then so far and so forth 120 115 110 and that goes without saying you just need to be in the battle pass unlocking stuff pretty much unlocking the whole thing claim 100 rewards i believe that's the whole battle pass i could be wrong let me know in the comment section below but that's what it's looking like it's looking like you need everything in the battle pass in order to unlock these stuff which is pretty cool because that would mean that you hit level 100 and you're not really too interested in i don't know this skin for whatever reason and you don't want it you don't have to waste your stars on this skin you could just purchase five other items within this page so that's one two three four five you probably go on the cheap stuff there's like three items that are just 10 stars and then one of the skins is going to be the 20 star one that's five items which will unlock page two and then you could go get your 20 more stars and unlock your toxic rick skin which i know everybody wants to unlock so let's go in and actually get the back bling because i actually want this back bling i think it looks pretty cool and again i don't have the battle pass but i just want to show you guys that you can unlock some stuff without the battle pass just like before let's equip it why not and just to show you guys as you can see you can see it in the back so if i go to my locker there we go clear as day unlocked without the battle pass now, I'm going to do a whole separate video on the alien and its cosmetics, breaking it down. Because I see a lot of people are confused on that. And again, this needs a whole video to kind of explain. I've seen a lot of people, let me just get this out of the way. I've seen a lot of people confusing this alien to how Maya was built in previous seasons where you only had one Maya skin and once you unlock some of the cosmetics for Maya, you locked it in and that was your unique Maya. However, the alien skin is kind of different because it's more like the superhero skins. The more you unlock, the more you're able to change and customize your alien, yes, but you don't lock in the cosmetic. You can keep changing it as much as you want for everything that you have unlocked with in the alien stuff again i'm gonna do a full video on how to unlock everything once more information is out there and i definitely want to keep the video that's showing how to unlock everything i want to actually go to the places and get these stuff that we need to and that is going to be all for today let me know in the comment section below your thoughts of the battle pass if you have any more questions Let's talk about it in the comment section below. Like always, guys, I answer all comments, so let's have that conversation down there. If you're new around here, consider hitting that subscribe button. I do videos like this every day, talking Fortnite, Call of Duty, Pokemon, Mario, whatever I feel like dropping the vibes on, I drop it here on the channel. So again, consider hitting that subscribe button. Also, hit the like button. It does help me out a ton as far as moving the video and to recommend it so other people can check out the videos. Peace. I love you guys. I'm going to see you guys on the next one. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you're not a subscriber and you made it this far, hit that subscribe button. You know you want to. Join the family. Ring the bell so you can be notified on the next time I drop one of my videos. As well as hit the like button on this video so it can be recommended so more people can check it out so we can have more people join in the family. If you want to keep up with me on other social media platforms such as Twitter, Instagram or TikTok or whatever. I'm Daddy Gamer Fred on all of those. Again, Daddy Gamer Fred, you'll be able to find all those links in the description of this video and the pin tweet comment 
on my Twitter. Also on all of my videos, I do answer all comments. So again, if you just want to chat it up about the video or anything, just hit me up in the comment section below. I take time out of my day and literally answer to all the comments that you guys leave me and I love it. And again, let's have that conversation down there. Here are a couple of suggested videos that you guys should check out that may be of your interest. I am a variety channel. I do tons of stuff, tons of Pokemon, but tons of other stuff as well. So dive into these videos. Peace. I love you guys. I'm going to see you guys on the next one.